Hey everyone, it's STTP straight to the point here. Today I'm gonna do a deck profile on my Blaster Alfred deck. Blaze Chain Alfred. So this deck mainly focuses on killing your opponent before stuff got worse. So this deck is good against late game decks because you're gonna have some momentum early game. Honestly I beat your Chronicle one time using this because I rushed them and by their first try they had like five cards left in the after turn. So next turn I finished them. So let's get started. <coughs> For a starter we're using Wingo Brave. Wingo Brave is a great card. It's a really old card. It's from BT5. To kill it on a boost uh, blaster. You can move it to soul. If you do a search for a blaster, add it to your hand. So you can, if it's boot, if it boosts like a blaster pen bark gull or blaster blade or blaster exceed, you can move it to the soul, search for any blaster, add it to your hand. Next, I'm using four blaster blade. So, blaster blade here, I'm gonna stand up. So, I'll sit down because I don't know why. Okay, so Blaster Blade, exceed. Skill is. Uh, first skill, it's Stride skill actually. When uh, choosing it with save rate, it's a card named Stride. You can Chrono Blast 1, search for a card with Blaster Blade in its card name, let your hand. Its second skill is when it's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, Chrono Blast 1, um, choose one for opponent's grade. Grade um one or grade three cards and fire it. So it's good for removing grade one, or grade two, or grade threes, but it can't remove any starters, so it's sad. But next, two offered off one exit. This is just a substitute until I get another offered off. Now, old skill. GB2, it gets plus 2000 for each of your Raw Paladin regards. So, yeah. And the other skill. Current best one, so best one, choose a card from your hand, discard it. When it's placed on Vanguard Trickle, if you have a card with first man of light or blaster in its card name, in your soul, you pay the cost if you do search for up to two cards of different grades with first man of light or blaster in the card names. Call them to separate your guard and shuffle your deck. So, that's good. After all, this is a blaster offer deck. I only use this when I have a Link Joker matchup. So I can use Holy Squire to unlock everything. <laughs> okay. Next is for Blaster Blade. Blaster Blade, you're not gonna use this skill. You just need for the name. Because there's really good support. It's If you want to know its skill, or best to. In this place on Vanguard Circle, choose one of one's units, choose one of opponent's rear guards and retire it. The other skill, when it's placed on its place on your guard, Colonel Blast 2, if you have a Raw Paladin Vanguard, choose one, choose one of opponent's great two or greater rear guards and retire it. Yeah, it's, you're not gonna use that skill. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Next, to Blush of Blade Spirit. Um, one's damage, sadly. Let's go with gonna best one when it's placed on your guard from your deck. I mean with the glass. If you do choose one of choose one of your opponents grade two or grade three your guards in the front row and retire it. Another skill. At the end of the battle that this unit was attacked, retire it. So basically if I if my opponent attacks this with like a uh, example of five K. Even though it's in pass, this dies anyways. So it's sad, but it's good to ride for grade 2 because of the black 1, the blaster name, and 2, the power is 10,000. So, no 9k beach for you, and you'll be happy. I have these 7 Cs. Next is 2 fa favorite people of light and dark blue. Now, I only use two because I never use them. Basically, that's all I'm gonna say. Never use blue. Uh, 
Lewis there, if I don't have Blaster Blade, but that's really rare, guys. I have this, this, and this. To search for Blaster Blade and Lou, yeah, it's fine. You can use it to get more packs off, but yeah, it's okay. That's uh, Skillless. When it's boosted by by Blaster Friend Bark Gull or Flora Paladin Flow Gull, I don't have the battle. It gets plus 2000 and Counter Blast 1, but this will into your soul. At the end of the battle, that this will attack the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for 1 grade 2 card with Blaster Blade in its card name, call it the rear guard, shuffle your deck, and it gets plus UK. So, when it's boosted by um, Bark Gull, Blaster Friend Bark Gull, or Flora Pod and Fogo, this becomes a 12k attacker, plus either the 7k or the 16k, that's 6, the 4k, that's 16k, or 19k, and after that, we move it to the soul, called Blaster Blade, plus 3, so, Blaster Blade can now attack for 12k, instead of only 9k, so it's good. Next. Two Swordsman of Light, Blaster, Javelin, Nails. Again, this is a Blaster Offer deck, that's why I use this. Um, Skillers, choose two cards from your hand and put them into your soul. When it's placed on your guard, if you have an Alfred Vanguard, you move the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to two high beasts, call them two separate rig, open your guard, and shuffle your deck. So, this card is good for calling Flogos out. There are four Paladin Flogos for the Blaster Engine. Again, again, this is a, this is that a really reckless deck. So, you won't have that much hard cards after. You probably do like four to five, or in most cases six. Yeah, green ones. Four Blaster Friend Barco. I use four because it has the blaster name and this is no gb right so when you boost and attack your opponent's 9k vanguard he it's a 19k attack so he has to guard for 15 so it's really awesome and after that you can boost to the soul call blaster blade and if you have a blaster vanguard corner charge one so it's basically a free call yeah, that's nice. Because, um, Blaster Fan Barkle skill is when your unit named Blaster Blade, it has to be the original Blaster Blade. It can't be like this, this Blaster Blade, or this Blaster Blade. It can only be this Blaster Blade, this Blaster Blade. If you have a Blaster Vanguard, gonna try one. But it's a nice card. Next. For Bringer of Divine Grace Epona, this is the PG from the Legend deck. You can use this to counter charge. So basically, it's skillless. When it's placed, if you have another of this in your in your drop zone, counter charge one. It's basically the standard PG, but if you have another one of this, you can counter charge one. That's why you use it. Because this deck uses a lot of counter blast, and yeah. Next is two Stridefather. Stridefather. Basically, you can discard this for Stride because when you discard this, it becomes Creed 3. Yeah. Next is three Wingle Youth. Wingle Youth skill when an attack hits a Vanguard during the battle that, that, that this unit attacked or boosted. Look at seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one card with Basher Blade and its card down from among them. Put it, in, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put the card into your hand, move it to the soul. So, if, for example, I attack with this, I look at top 7. There's no blaster blade, or I don't like the blaster blade I'm gonna get. For example, I need this, but this shows up instead. I don't have to get it, and this stays on the field. You can only put it to the soul if you add the card to your hand. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Next. Two little tactician Myron. This is mainly for bringing units out if you don't have enough field. Or bringing Flogos out if you don't have this. Or if you don't have a blast, an Alfred Vanguard. 
a skeleton can bust the weapon space and injured from your hand. If you have a vanguard with Alfred or Blaster, that card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card, call it to your guard, shuffle. Get a plus 2000 and shuffle your deck. Now on to the grade zeros. We're running four Flogo crit. Mainly this Flogo. This Flogo is like really good. It can help with this. It scales combat one at the end of the battle that your unit with Blaster Blade and attack the vanguard. You may pay the cost. If you do, pick up one of your units named Blaster Blade on your guard. Stand it, return this unit to your deck, and shuffle your deck. So, this is a high beast. So, you're gonna switch up with this. Call 2. So, after this attacks, attack. Combat one, back to deck, restand, attack. Wait, first. Yeah, attack. Combat one, back to deck, attack again. Combat one, back to deck, restand, attack again. So that like three attacks with blaster blade. That's why this is good. You have to you have to use four of these. Next, four of the Alfred crit. Skillless protects your soul. When you're great to your vanguard with Alfred and card name attacks, you pay the cost of two color charge two. It has to be grade 3, it can't be like a stride. Even though you have this as your vanguard, if you stride, you can't use this anymore because it's grade 4. Next is 4 crits, so go to do. And 4 months go heals. This is the form of the FC. Um, skill is um, when it when it's discarded to call. Beast Divine Holy Beast Divine Mask of Femir Jizan. You may discard a uh, Grade One or Less card from your hand and draw a card, so it's nice. I don't use Mask Gal yet because it's really hard to find. I opened LT packs and for some reason I don't get them. Now to the strides. So here are the strides first. For Divine Night King. Offered Holy Saver. Let's kill this GP2. Choose a face down card with the same name as this unit from your G zone. Turn it face up. Choose a card from your hand discard it. If you have a heart card with Alfred or Blaster in its card name, choose one for your red guard with Blaster Blade in its card name. And then out of turn, it gets plus 1000. And during the first battle of this turn, this unit performs Twin Drive. So, this. You use this, if you're GB2 already, use this, this gets plus 3 and twin drive, and boosted by, for example this, 7 plus 14, 21, and then gets twin drive, so it's a 21 pay column with twin drive, yes, twin drive, so, um, note, First a battle only, so for example, that was this, this, and this. So, I use a skill, plus 3, attack for 12,000, or maybe 19 if you want, with twin drive, twin drive. Use the skill, return to the deck, shuffle back to the deck, this stands up. When this attacks, no more twin drive, because only first battle, so I'll be good. <laughs> It wasn't first battle, but then I'll be broken and probably restricted by Bushiro. Okay, Bushiro, language of fair game. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, it helps you build the pan cards, in my opinion. So, what did I say last? It's good card. I just ate a hot pocket. Yeah. It's a good card. And first battle twin drive only. Yeah. That's just two myriad soul saver. It's got a soul blast three, when it attacks the vanguard. If you have a heart card with Alfred or Blaster in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to five of your rear guards and they get plus five thousand until end of turn. This does not stack, so if you only have three rear guards. Only three of them get plus five thousand. Can't be like 
two get plus five, one get plus fifteen. No, I can't. I can't. Yeah. <coughs> I may not include two of these because you can only use this if you have three soul. So you need to use this to pump up your soul. And you can get more soul using this. So you can use this again, so it's nice. This is two holy dragon which is soul saver. Skill this kind of best one. It's a it's a face down holy dragon religious soul saver from a G zone. And then face up. When this place on further trickle, if you have a hard card or blaster it's card name, you may pay the cost. If you don't, choose up to three of your units and they get plus five thousand until the end of turn. Then if the number of cards in your soul with blaster and card name is two or more, I get plus one critical. So if you ride this right this next when you shred this instant one critical so it's nice yeah i'm just gonna my that sorry so, keep in mind it's on play so if you have like two rear guards only plus five here plus five to two rear guards and maybe on critical if you have like two other bases in your soul Next is Chan Megatory Dragon, Holy Square Dragon. This is for the Link Joker matchup. It's Killers. Act, choose a face down card team. Chan Megatory Dragon, Holy Square Dragon from G Zone. Turn face up. If you have a hard card with Alfred in its card name, unlock all of your lock cards and until end of turn, this unit gets continuous. During your turn, all your guards get plus 2000 and TB3. During your turn, this gets plus 3,000 for each of for each of your regards. <coughs> you can only use this if you have a if you read Alfred Oath or Alfred Exiv. I don't really use this. If I have a mechanical pass, then I use this of course, but it's for the Joker matchup mostly. Next one Dismo. I will put it out that only have 15 G units for now. But I will have 16 when G11 comes out because you get into that Peace Saver, and I will probably have a version 2 of this deck. So, this one when it's placed on Garden Circle, choose one for your guards, and, and until the end of turn, it can't be hit and and gets the resist effect. So, yeah, it's nice. If your if opponent is attacking Basher Blade, then use this no hit, instant no hit. Next to Holy Dragon Nature Guard Dragon. It's the G Guardian from FC for the first collection, the FC03. It's got some space on Garden Circle if you have one or more greater rear guards. Hey guys, my brother just came in. <laughs> okay, so. If you have a great 2 rear guard, get plus 5000 shield. Next is to Assault. It's kind of the best one in this place on Garden Circle. If you have, an, if you have a Vanguard with Alfred or Bastion's card name, it gets plus 1000 for each of your rear guards. So, this is the deck profile. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. And goodbye.